What is good, YouTube? It is BST, and we're back at it again with another reaction video. Yeah, today we're gonna be reacting to uh, Honest Trailers Tiger King. Now, to be honest, we've been seeing this uh, everywhere. Shit. Yeah, we've been seeing this shit everywhere. Like, really got to watching it. So I, um, I don't think I'm gonna watch this shit. But <laughs> I've been seeing this around Facebook, uh, Snapchat, Twitter, all that. So we're gonna see what's up with it. Yeah. So this nigga say he's not watching, but hey, if it's the trailers with it, nah, I, I give it. A, I heard it was like some crazy shit, like murder and shit that happened. I don't know. Let, let, all right, let's get into it. Yeah, let's go. Let's see what it's about, man. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, turn those bell notifications on. We still on the road to 100 subscribers. Help us get there. All right. Yeah, in a minute. Help us go. Let's get it. On the TV. Oh, on the TV trailer. Where the quarantine masses cry out for entertainment. Netflix will save us with the perfect distraction for our troubled movies. times. Even though it's dumb luck Quarantine. we got stuck at home now instead of last month, fun. or we'd all what be bonding really? over how dumb the goop lab is. We're coming up against some limitations of, of the matter to matter kind of healing, where you do physical to work on the physical. <laughs> Kill me. Tiger King. Oh, I see. Experience this shit. the ultimate example of timing is everything. It's from the, it's in this true crime doc that and replaces shit. all your fear, boredom, and isolation with a group of zookeepers who will shock, delight, and confuse you with every other sentence. They burned up seven of my crocodiles. I had bought a lemur with <laughs> they burned up crocodile? I once saw a guy get his finger bit off by a bear outside my office window. I'd like Why to they introduce my around wife with, bears? with my husband's at home feeding my brand new baby kangaroo. In this series, that's one part Coen Whoa, Brothers crime story. Would you actually find your close. husband up, feed him to the tiger so there's no evidence? And I guess that was your accomplice in the wood Brutal, they grinding niggas Christopher up. Christopher Guest movie. We got honey, we got barbecue sauce, skin cream, political condoms. These are my personalized hand <laughs> These condoms. are selling pretty well. <laughs> and one part snuff film. And he said, oh man, this is a Ruger. You know a Ruger won't fire without a clip. But since well, no it is shit. real, we well, have to grab the fact that we're all laughing at, if not outright celebrating, a bunch of broken people hurting each other and their animals. And those but cats got trusted me, balls. and so they could look me in the eye when they died. Ooh, can we grapple with that after the pandemic? Right now, I just want to hee-haw at some yahoos. I saw a hee-haw some yahoos? Tiger <laughs> he thinks he's people. Want to get into the exotic animal game? Oh, would you There's a few rules like you gotta follow. One, you gotta be a polygamist. Wait, what? Joe asked me if Travis could be in a relationship with us too. Doctor Antel has wait, four wait, five wives. Wait, Him and Lauren Swain. They use the tigers to entice them in. Two, you gotta be extremely paranoid because oh. everyone's out to get you. He was already a paranoid person. Didn't that nigga from the that animal that bunch that I used to watch people? as a kid? We put in security cameras, kept guns oh, by the bed. Oh, no, a... for real. We found a microphone and antenna top of the gift shop roof. But I could tell it was a listening device. And three, make sure all of so this zoo stuff is friend. just a stepping stone uh, to launch yeah, your media career. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to JoeExotTV.com. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. Now look at me how young I am there on Letterman. Man! Leading this herd of cat folk is Joe Exotic, a zoo owner who looks like you hit randomize on the Fallout character creator, where even the basic facts of his life sound like the last things an AI would spit out before it crashes. The gay gun cane redneck with a mullet. He's locked in a life and death struggle with literal Catwoman, Carol Baskin, an animal rights activist who used to sell exotic animal cubs. Throughout this tape, we'll show you how we take them from the mother. And now uses the veneer of a charity to obscure the line between zoo and sanctuary. And also probably maybe sort of killed her husband? The lady who runs Big Cat Rescue killed, killed her him? own husband, potentially. Her husband See, disappeared. That, supposed to be buried in her property. I promise you he's underneath Whoa. that septic tank. Crazy. Look at her eyes! She's totally lying! So Wait, suit up for the documentary event that <laughs> oh, took the genre wow. from true crime to holy sh no way that's true crime that was smart enough to give you just enough Joe Exotic to keep him compelling because as anyone in show business will tell you never go oh, full Joe Exotic and marks the beginning not the end of the biggest thing to happen to tigers since zoo books because A-listers are rushing to play Joe spin-off series are all you remember zoo books that should sound kind of familiar I don't know, like zoo books, bro. Wasn't 
I don't, I don't kind of, I remember it, but I don't remember at the nah, same time. These, there were these little books, but you don't remember them, bro? You're little, I remember the books, bro, but like, I don't remember even reading them. That's these, the thing. Was, no, we never bought them. We just seen them on the commercial all the time, yeah, bro. Yeah, I hope you remember it. Bro. This is some fucked up ass shit so far. Bro, like, so far, bro, it's kind of, it's kind of weird, my nigga. The bitch killed her husband. Supposedly killed her. This guy talk about it. you could, what, find her. This nigga said, I promise you, he's under that one thing. Bro, yeah, his some body. Kid. Uh, anyway, let's get back into it. <laughs> Already on their way. And you just know Joe Exotic is going to get pardoned by the president. I'm sure there's a job waiting for him at the EPA. Guess what, mother f Starring Joe's crack team of employees. I'm working with people that like just get out of prison. I found this place on Craigslist. Travis was a pothead from hell. Kept me sober, not drinking. First guy to the zoo. I didn't really know anything about the zoo. I worked at the ammo section. When I got the job offer to work for Joe, I was like, what's the job? He said campaign manager. Meat talk. There's only five buckets of meat in there. Meat to do wow. the rules. Most of the meat was from the Walmart truck. Expired meat. And that's what they ate. Getting interviewed while holding them? an animal. Expired I'd like to introduce my now. friend today. We have tigers. Yeah, Joe supplied tigers. We breed them. 28 species. The guy that got killed by the lions. That's the way it was. Oh, little girl. <laughs> Threatening to kill people. If somebody thinks they're gonna walk in here and take my animals they're away, it's gonna be a small Waco. Yeah, he was talking about dropping your name. You can guarantee goddamn tea, I'm gonna put a cap in your ass. Somebody needs to kill the bitch. You will stop breathing. Well, you cut you head off. Off. And then I'm gonna put a bullet don't right between your fucking eyes. Just me and Joe dangerous. made a pack. If anything went bad, we're gonna shoot each other. Nah, go I mean, I mean, I don't own anything. This bus is like not mine. Take him away from Those cars are not mine. Joe maxed out all the credit cards. They had Joe against the ropes because he was broke. You know damn well it's too big to do that. Look how big that shit is. It's time to get somebody as broke as me and get in there. I'm broke as Employee abuse. He pays his staff $150 a week. $100 a week. I don't pay anybody to do animal care. Animal abuse. What if they work here like puts tigers who've aged out of playtime events in a gas chamber. I wish I could kick this in my pocket. Counts three through seven or four. I'm a little junkie. Five five fashion abuse. How many affliction t shirts do you own? 60 or 70. Carol laughing at something you she just said. He's gonna get nasty with me. <laughs> Dang near shot the neighbor's dog. <laughs> I picked up the gun, held it on him. <laughs> if someone were to kill me, I think it would push this movement so far forward that it would be worth it. <laughs> Shaq patronized these people? Oh, that's Shaq. a bummer. Logan Paul? Yeah, that makes sense. Wow. <gasps> No! Oh, these the people thin must be line between fun, exotic bro. animal lover and cult oh, leader. Do they were virgins or close to virgins. If they wanted to get to the top, they should sleep with him. He's got his little cult and I got my little cult. The thin line between exotic animal lover and drug dealer. Joe kept him pumped full of weed. I sold this drugs on the whole drug dealer and you let him the around the snakes, animals? Stick bags of cocaine okay, yeah, inside of them, stitch them Kind of where I draw the line. We call it a little bit. The thin line between what exotic animal lover and exotic animal lover. Little, see, look at that shit. A lot of Come here, you can't have no more kids. Face. You're a muddy, my sexy tiger. Let's see your voice, sexy look lawyer. How big that Come shit. here, love me. Come look here, love me. And payback. I've been doing this 20 years, never even been fit. Bonding with them, or you have a school. Why is this so like aggressive? Fucking lying. This is in our nature, see? Fucking dress. I'm just gonna say, get out, Lord. I don't know, it's an emergency. Got an employee that was attacked by a tiger. The arm is completely gone. We do not have time to wait. And then we're gonna financially recover from this. <laughs> and we'll that's all he cares about, bro. His He's animal so just fucked someone up. He's never gonna ask how I'd like to be remembered when I'm gone. I don't have an answer except to say, not like this. Like if I was sitting there concentrating, they showed us how to on the computer didn't come and rub them balls in my face. They were like wow. nuggets to that boy. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. You were good, son. Real good. Maybe even the best. Stringle handedly achieving orchestra excellence. He's there, the Phantom of the Opera. You always make me see the stupidest things, you guys. God! These are kind of... Is that it? Dude, that is it. You know what I heard about, like, tigers and shit? What? These guys are fucking playing with, uh, what's that word? What's that, like, metaphor? What, playing with fire? Yeah, playing with fire, bro. They are yeah. playing with fire, bro. I have heard, like, you could... You can't tame these things, man, like... Even if they had to, like... 
but they were like, uh, yeah, they, they'll turn on you. Yeah, like one, like small, like fuck up. Because these are all then. Once you fuck up, it's over. Like, oh, if you, you miss their feeding once, bro, now you're gonna get hungry. Look at you, funny. <laughs> yeah, fuck, but forget about, it, forget about all that. Like, you go in to pet them, you pet them a little harder than they expect. Make sure you fucking give us a. Uh, if you guys have any videos you want us to react to, make sure to 